Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the device encryption is not working or showing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So, first thing we're going to do is just make sure that your computer is even compatible with this feature. So, in order to do that, just open up the search menu and type in system information. Best match, should go back with system information. So, go ahead and open that up. And then you want to go down, you're about halfway down the page, or pretty much at the bottom of the page here. And you want to go down to the bottom of the page where it says device encryption support. So in our case, it says reason for failed automatic device encryption. TPM is not usable. PCR7 binding is not supported. Hardware security tests, and then there's more text after that. So plenty of reasons why we are not able to use the device encryption there. So three things. It's usually you need to have a TPM 2.0 module there with support for the modern standby. TPM must be enabled, so not only do you need the module, but it has to be turned on. And you need to have the UEFI, or Unified Extensible Firmware Interface Firmware. So you need to have all three of those. You'd have to check for updates, make sure your system's compatible. And that's pretty much the bulk of it, guys. And if it was compatible, you would just close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in settings, best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. And select privacy and security on the left panel here. There would be an option, I believe it's under security, that would say device encryption. You would go ahead and just toggle that to the on position. And that's pretty much it. So again, it would be underneath privacy and security and then device encryption. And if you don't see it, like I showed in the first part of the tutorial, it means you're probably not eligible or your system is not compatible to running it. Pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.